Hi designers, today I will show you how to add videos to your Jitter project. We currently support .mp4 and .mov files. To import them in your project, we use the same function that you use to upload an image. So you press this image icon and then you select the video you want to upload and voila, it is in your project. Once uploaded, you can start manipulating how the video looks by either dragging on here or using the right panel. Jitter treats videos the way he treats a rectangle, so all the properties that you can change to a rectangle, like corner radius, angle, opacity, stroke or shadow, are also applied to the video. The only difference is that with the video you have to here change media, and with a rectangle you can change the color. There is one big difference between a video and every other element in Jitter, and that is when we go to the Animate tab, that when importing a video into Jitter, it is by default in the Animation tab, and that's not with a regular element. But it's even more if you remove this animation, the video gets removed from the project. In the Animator, you can crop the video and drag it around, or use the right panel again up here. If you want to animate the video, you can do it the same way that you would animate every other element, which is by selecting it up here or up here, and then doing new animation. Again, all the same animations that we have regular elements are applied to videos, but there is one difference once again, and that is when you select an animation, as you can see, it is not displayed right now, because the animation is not under the time or the duration of the video itself. So you have to always stay between these bounds in order for your animation to be visible. So if you drag it up here, your animation will be cut in half. If you have any questions about videos in Jitter, make sure to put it in a comment and we will be happy to help you.